I am Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones, Chairman of Douglas County Board of Commissioners. It is my pleasure to welcome you to Clearly, our show on DCTV 23 that has the purpose of bringing information to you about county departments, programs, and people. Information is essential to being able to think clearly. Again, thank you all for joining us today for the State of the County Address presented by Douglas County Board of Commission Chair, Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones. At this moment, I'd like to introduce Vice Chair for Douglas County, Vice Chairman Kelly Robinson. Good morning, or good afternoon. Uh, my name is Kelly Robinson. I'm the Vice Chairman. On behalf of the full Board of Commissioners, I welcome you to this State of the County. Um, these forums are set to both inform, to educate, but also inspire. Uh, we hired, we voted, we elected a new leader last year. And here's a State of the County which gives you a full perspective of one year later. Listen with your hearts, listen with your souls, Listen with your mind. Please stand, join, and welcome Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones, the Chairman of the Full Board of Commissioners. I love the weather today. today. What about you? It's amazing. This is the day that the Lord has made. Good afternoon to my fellow commissioners, our county administrator, Mark Teal. Please stand. He is the wind beneath my wings. Our attorney, Ken Bernard, and our board of commission administrative staff, please stand. Our department heads, please stand. All our employees, if you're here, stand. Special guests, my fellow citizens, and those who are in, present in the chambers and in this courthouse, and who may be watching on television, or on the internet today. Today, it is both a privilege and an honor to stand before you to deliver my first annual State of the County Address here in Douglas County. I would like to say that I'm thankful for the opportunity to work and lead our county forward with such an amazing Board of Commissioners. At this, at this time, it is my pleasure to recognize the Douglas County Board of Commissioners, so please meet our Vice Chairman, District 2 Commissioner Kelly Robinson. Will you please stand? <laughs> our Commissioner Henry Mitchell III, if he's here, please stand. Our <laughs> District 3 Commissioner Michael Mulk here, please stand. <laughs> and District 4 Commissioner Ann jones Guider, if you're here, please stand. <laughs> Give her a hand. I would like to thank these incredible elected officials for their time, their talent, and remarkable vision and insights with leading Douglas County forward. Today, I stand before you in this grand room among incredible leaders who have, in one way or another, contributed to the giant footprint of success in Douglas County. Douglas County overall had a fantastic year in 2017, and I appreciate the confidence the community has placed in my leadership ability to move Douglas County forward. 
My charge this afternoon is to recapitulate the conditions under which we all labored last year and spend time talking with you about current economic and environmental conditions in which we plan for the forthcoming years. Together, we are working hard to build a better today and promising future, and our achievements are a testament and of our teamwork, our collaboration, and we are building those harmonious relationships. As I reflect back, Douglas County is a diverse community and it is business friendly. We have access to the busiest airport in the world. We are only 30 minutes away from the doorsteps of the airport. Our professional services grew by 59% and we advanced manufacturing by 40% from 2011 to 2016. And we noticed remarkable growth in commercial, industrial, and residential in 2017. Our infrastructure advantages include power, gas, fiber, and water. We are in the midst of an exciting transformation with the building and renovation of restaurants and retail stores and hotels and road expansions flourishing throughout our beautiful county. Our quality of life is exceptional with over 8,000 acres of dedicated outdoor space including Sweetwater Park, Creek Park, and numerous city and county parks to fit all needs. Parks and Recreation introduced their first newsletter in 2017. This newsletter hi highlights park events, facility locations, and program listings, listings for the pub public to see. With Boundary Waters, guess what this year? The Aquatic Center revenues increased by 57,000 annually for the, for the last several years. And guess what? In 2017, it was the highest year for revenues at the Aquatic Center, so let's give them a hand. The revenues total, total exceeded $41,000. We have superb libraries in Douglas County. Our educational system is top-notch, and the 2017 four-year graduation rate for Douglas County school system is 87% and we exceeded the state average by 6%. And all five high schools have a magnet program, including the International Baccalaureate Program. Our young professionals populations account for about 27.2%, uh, and the total population of our youth, or should I say millennials, is 38%, and they all have at least a bachelor's degree. I think that's amazing. Our water supply is among the best in the nation. And there is good news to report. Douglas County Water Users, the Georgia Environmental Protection Division has lifted the level one drought response due to vigorous winter and fall precipitation. Though the drought has been lifted, I encourage us to continue to be conservative. Where are we financially? Our economy is healthy in Douglas County, and we are thriving. Unemployment is at a 25-year low. <laughs> Foreclosures are declining, and our home prices are above the pre-recession levels. Our population growth is the highest since 2002. In 2017, we experienced a 5.5% new growth in the tax digest, and this is a 10-year high. It's a 10-year high, especially when other counties in Georgia remain relatively flat. Last year, our tax commissioner garnered over $7 million in delinquent taxes going far back as 2007. The Board of Commissioners cut the tax rate by 4.43% and reduced the millage rate by 0.499% in 2017. Our setback is a setup for our comeback, and this administration stepped up and tackled an inherited 
$8.5 million shortfall, and we successfully balanced the 2018 budget without increasing taxes, and there was no interruption to county services. Our financial position is robust, and our credit position is very strong. We continue to sustain the highest AA2 bond rating comparable to counties our size, and our reserve fund balance is healthy. Where are we from an economic development standpoint? Douglas County is number one, open for business, and we are committed to workforce development initiatives and building relationships to foster economic growth and transformative advancements. Last year, we formulated a long-term or long-time strategic plan to design and shape our future, vitality and prosperity in Douglas County. Today, we are in the process of groundwork to build pillars to celebrate the community, invest with intention, and cultivate talent. We also are working to develop business success to enhance our image and competitive position. Our small businesses are the heartbeat of our community. The Douglasville Douglas County Chamber is doing an extraordinary job engaging our small businesses. We continue to refine and benchmark our processes and regulations to support the uh, sustainability of prosperity, homegrown character, community well-being, enhanced job creation, local decision-making, and keeping dollars within our local community. So please shop local. <laughs> our economic development capital investment totaled $3.3 billion, and that's billion with the B, dollars in 2017. And this was another historical moment. Our very own Executive Director of Development Authority, Chris Pumphrey, worked 25 projects. He announced five new industry locations with 210 new jobs last year. Data centers are quietly transforming Douglas County. Most recently, Las Vegas-based global technology company, Switch, broke new ground here in Douglas County. Switch Building is a one million square foot campus called The Keep. This $2.5 billion investment is the most significant single capital investment in not Douglas County's history, but in Georgia's history. <laughs> Economic development is the pivotal point of progress in Douglas County. Strategic planning efforts underway include the Sweetwater Master Plan completed by Kimberly Horn and the Sewer Study for Caps Ferry Road. And most recently, Fox Hall announced their plan to move forward with completion of the Weston Hotel, the Villas and Conference Center at the South Douglas Resort in a recent special call meeting with the Board of Commissioners and the Douglas County uh, Development Authority. Lights, camera, action. These are words you should be familiar with when it comes to movies in Douglas County. Hundreds of movies and television programs are being produced in Douglas County. Our film trail is part of the complete package of tourism offerings, including 2,000 acres of parkland and 2,500 acres of Sweetwater Creek State Park. The non-for-profit group Film LA called Georgia the number one filming location in the world. Film and television projects delivered $9.5 million of an economic impact in the, uh, 2017 for the state of Georgia. Public safety is important and it is critical in our community. Our emergency management agency, our fire department, our E911 operations center, our Department of Transportation, the Sheriff's Office, and our communication directors and other first responders do a fantastic job tackling fires and natural disasters here in Douglas County. Please give them a hand.
With severe weather impacting our region, such as hurricanes, we had an experience last year, tornadoes, a record fall snowfall in December, we were able to increase and enhance our communication efforts, utilizing social media to offer up-to-the-minute updates. Last year was a hectic year in terms of natural disasters, and our first responders have the battle scars and the letters of commendations to prove it. We are taking pride in best practice approaches with fully cross-trained fire and EMT uh, staff utilizing, and also we utilizing sophisticated advanced life support equipment and continuous rigorous disaster preparedness exercises. Please, let's give them a hand. <laughs> Douglas County should be proud at the FEMA recently announced a major accomplishment. Douglas County has undertaken a series of meaningful activities to protect its citizens from losses and caused by flooding and has significantly exceeded the requirements for national flood insurance program participation and effective floodplain management improving to a class seven. This federal program enables property, which we all are, property owners, to uh, and, and participating communities to purchase insurance and a protection to protect your flood losses. And that's huge for Douglas County because now we are now class seven. Law enforcement is essential to a thriving community. Our crime rates have dropped slightly in 2017. However, this administration continues to invest in necessary resources to keep our residents safe. We stay abreast of advancements that drive efficiencies such as body cameras, and we consistently look for ways to minif minimize risk and proactive measures. And our 2018 budget will fund the hiring of four sheriff deputies to patrol and protect the fair play area of Douglas County. And I think that's significant. We've been waiting a long time. Let's give fair play a hand. Douglas County, we have efficient record keeping and it contributes to an effective system uh, with the coroner's office, which they have taken necessary steps to implement a seamless automated process to track and maintain vital records of our deceased patients here in Douglas County. It's also worth noting that Wellstar Douglas Hospital has received its official Georgia Certificate of Need for the development of the Level 2 neonatal neonatal intensive care unit services, and I have received word that the hospital's women's center has already begun making changes to incorporate this in very important en enhancement, and I think that's big. Our mothers no longer have to travel out of Douglas County to have their babies, they, especially the high-risk mothers, so please, <laughs> we're really excited about that. Our judicial system aligns with best practices and 21st century principles. Accountability courts opened the first mental court in the history of Douglas County last year. Also, our district attorney's office and domestic violence task force opened the first ever child advocacy center location, which is temporarily being operated out of the new sheriff's department. And I think that's huge for Douglas County again for our judicial side. Superior Court Judge Bo McLean is leading the effort to help combat the homeless housing problem. Judge McLean sought and obtained approval to have transitional housing available for homeless individuals in our community. And this new community will be called Sanctuary, Sanctuary Village. Our Superior Court Clerk's Office implemented a partial payment plan system that gives defendants several months to pay their fines and switch to a online payment vendor, saving the citizens over 4% on convenience fees. Technology is moving by leaps and bounds in our judicial system, and all the deeds going back as far as 1871 are now available online. For the first time in history, the Board of Commissioners allocated funding in the 2018 budget in the amount of $125,000 to advance children's mental health services in Douglas County. That's huge again. 
The administration is encouraged by all the progress in Douglas County. We opened the new animal shelter in April 2017, and thank you so much, Commissioner Mulcair, for your efforts and your appreciation for our animals. <laughs> Dog River Trails opened in June of 2017. The tag and tag tax and tag offices, the appraisal department, the geographic information systems, we call the GIS department, and the fleet management operations team will be moving into their new annex, Douglas County annex, by the end of April, end of May of this year. It's coming very soon. I don't want to try to outthink our builders, but it's, you see that it's coming up. It's looking real good. A full-blown security system will be installed in the courthouse this year as well. Our Department of Transportation Director is working to move the Lee Road project along. The Northeast extension of the Chattahoochee Hill Country Regional Trail is continuing and the design of the segment from Boundary Waters and Sweetwater Creek State Park is now underway. Road, <laughs> Road widening and installation of turning lanes are currently in progress at Yancey and Stewart Mills Roads and you see it, it's, it's under construction now, and there's good tra and good traffic flows makes a good day for all of us. The Georgia Department of Transportation added ramp meters at the freeway entrance ramps along Interstate 20, and once the system is activated, we will experience a new era of innovation in Douglas County. Another example of transformational change is along shown along the Thord Road. A large, the large overhead traffic flow signage is gaining lots of favorable feedback from our residents. It looks like we're in Hollywood now. <laughs> our splash pennies are at work. A desperately needed digital radio system has been vetted and planned for activation in 2019. Our splash funds and, commit our, and commitment to the betterment of transportation, infrastructure, fire and EMS resources parks and recreation and enhanced amenities are in play. Upcoming projects include sidewalks, a new community center at Boundary Waters, a senior center in Lithia Springs, and an additional fire station to be built near Douglas Hill and Thord Road in the upcoming years. We now have access to online local grocery shopping services with doorstep delivery services here in Douglas County. So please feel free to go online and you just have to just key into the search engine instacart.com and you will receive your groceries doorstep delivery once you place your order from Publix and Aldi's. Our future is bright in Douglas County. The tax commissioner has placed a new automatic tag renewal kiosk in the courthouse and is working towards obtaining another one to place in District 4. That's big again, District 4. We continue to find innovative ways to ease the burden of unnecessary travel for our citizens. And our external affairs director is working currently with the state legislation to potentially secure a driver's license renewal location here in Douglas County in the near future. <laughs> we have the responsibility for making the right decision. This year, the mayor and I are excited about the county administrator and our county manager working in collaboration on a combined 10-year comprehensive plan for Douglasville and Douglas County. That's never been done again. We welcome groundbreaking opportunities and we are championing things that we have never done before here in Douglas County. Our newly established External Affairs Department works very closely, closely with our state and federal legislative delegation to oversee and monitor the Board of Commission's legislative priorities as it pertains to specific House and Senate and state bills. The Board of Commissioners adopted their first formal state and federal legislation, uh, legislative agenda this year, and we are taking pride in public engagement activities such as behavioral health and mental health activities, arts, cultures, and humanities. Hard work pays off, and Douglas County was recently recognized in Washington, D.C. by U.S. Representative Congressman David Scott 
for leading our efforts on behavioral health awareness here in Douglas County. He recognized us on the congressional floor, and that's huge. And he said Douglas County is moving things forward with, with regard to behavioral health and mental health in Douglas County. So give yourselves a hand. We are already ahead of schedule by embracing the arts because the latest economic development trends reveal big companies like Amazon look favorably on those who espouse arts, culture, and humanities. And we had our first uh, sample of that in February of this year. We continually position ourselves to compete and meet the demand for excellence. And we are working towards building a base of volunteers. Our external affairs director is leading the way for obtaining the certification to become an official Keep America Beautiful, uh, Keep Douglas County Beautiful affiliate soon. That should happen hopefully by April 30th. That's what I've been told of this year. We will become official, so that means we will roll our sleeves up and get to work. Correct? External Affairs Director. And clean this place up. Our tenacity and determination to clear all the rigorous hurdles associated with getting our cert certification strengthens our capacity to address litter, as I just mentioned, and beautify the gateways here in Douglas County. Future planning. As we go forward, we will continue to utilize calculated strategic priorities to foster economic growth and vitality here in Douglas County, efficient organization performance. We will look at our environmental stewardship. We will continue to monitor our enriched public safety and public health and well-being here in Douglas County, look at our enhanced cultural and recreational opportunities, and we will continue to activate inclusive civic engagement. We exceeded expectations in our first year, and we have come a long way in terms of my favorite person, Vince Lombardi, said there's no room for second place, and in Douglas County, we, we have determined, as all of us, there's no room for second place. Transportation infrastructure is an ongoing task. We will continue our efforts of paving roads, fixing potholes, and repairing worn down road shoulders. For the first time in our history, Douglas County will, be, will host Georgia Department of Transportation for a site visit in September of this year. The purpose of this meeting is to assemble with GDOT officials to discuss and execute a plan going forward for the upkeep of our state roads here in Douglas County. Our mission, our vision, and values far surpass mediocrity. We strive for, to be builders of families and neighborhoods, of communities and build bridges, not walls. As we go forward, I believe the next significant steps for the administration is to execute a tactical plan to address unfinished subdivisions and plats throughout the county. We will continue to galvanize our opportunities to discuss our former housing study. We will embrace energy efficient cost savings opportunities and we will continue to foster long-term capital planning. Initiatives we all have to work together to strike the right balance, to pilot an intermodal 15-passenger fixed shuttle route system if it is God's will. Our nation has an opioid crisis at hand, and Douglas County is not exempt, and this administration will have to wrap our minds around addressing this pressing issue. We are consistently competing for the top spot. After holding bronze status for eight consecutive years in the Atlanta Region Commission Com uh, Green Communities programs, we advanced to silver status in January of 2018. And thank you, I want to give our development authority a hand I see you, Travis. Uh, thank you all for stepping up uh, to put us in position for um, civil status in the green communities. The Board of Commissioners hosted an inaugural internship program in 2017, and we are looking forward to working with our millennials to prepare them to take the future reins of local government. We appreciate our seniors, and we host monthly televised birthday parties. Also, I currently serve on the Atlanta Regional Commission Aging Committee and work hard to secure funding 
for, to accommodate our senior needs. The Atlanta Regional Commission recently announced that Douglas County would be receiving $55,000 in terms of, of a grant for Meals on Wheels for a program here to support our seniors in Douglas County. We are blazing the trail of success and our profile is being raised throughout local newspaper and magazine outlets, DCT, V23, Douglas County Happenings, Facebook page, Twitter, Georgia Trend, and Georgia Forward Young Game Changers editorials. I host a quarterly walk in the talk listening session at libraries and festivals for one-on-one -on -one conversations with our citizens. Also, I host a bi-monthly tele uh, televised show called Clearly. Transparency is part of my platform, and this administration understands my conviction regarding an open government. I released our annual report card in the Chapel Hill News and Views of the April edition as promised and hope you will take the time to review our results. The county's website is celebratedouglascounty.com and there's a reason because the, there's open line of communication that exists here in our county. It's about our story and about the state of the county and the celebration celebrating what is good and positive about our county and working together to make it better. Finally, this year brings optimism. We have an enormous uh, moment. We should seize the moment. We have enormous stakes in the outcome of the direction of our county. And the destiny lies within our hands. As a United States veteran and as a daughter of a Korean War paratrooper, I know as long as we stand on confidence and character, we can achieve the impossible. Our journey is not about whether we are Democrat or Republican. Our journey is about what is doing, what is right, and standing for the rights and dignities of all citizens here in Douglas County. <laughs> this county is great because we all work together to unify our strengths and leverage opportunities to make our future right. As long as we uphold our ethical and moral values and advocate for our citizens and trust in God, we will not waver from our devotion in making Douglas County the county of excellence in the state of Georgia. We will move from good to great. Douglas County will do well. And the best is yet to come as we envision, engage, and energize to become the state of the county of excellence in the state of Georgia. Thank you, and may God continue to bless you.